Happy holidays from thefisherman.com. We'd like to show you a few new products this year that are especially good on Long Island, south uh, into Jersey, as well as any other shallow or uh, bank trolling, shall we say, along the sod banks. We've got here the uh, new Yozori Crystal Minnows. They've got new holographic finishes on them this year. Make them in deep divers as well as shallow divers. Everything in between comes to be a deep diver here. And this is also a brand new model in that it's a broken back. So um, this will give you a very tantalizing wiggle. Uh, I especially like the broken back ones when the current's a little bit on the lighter side. Stick with some of the other models, possibly the standard without the broken back if the tide's running fast. The retrieve can be varied and with a the deep diver, the faster you reel, the deeper you're going to uh, make your plug work. If you're a tuna fisherman, you can't go wrong with the sashimi bowl which is a super heavy duty uh, popping plug with the sashimi change color patented process that is able to, I don't know if that comes out very well on your uh, video, but this is changing from a green to a bluish color, just like a fish would when he's excited and lights up. Through wire construction, extra heavy duty uh, cadmium hooks, and a real winner for the tuna fishing. Hi everyone, Mark Rogers, sales manager for Okuma Fishing Tackle. We've introduced a lot of new products here for 2013, and one product we're really excited about is the Trio Bait Feeder. We've done really well with the Avenger Bait Feeder, the Evixer Bait Feeder. This is the next generation for, for Okuma in the Bait Feeder models here. A lot of unique things here that go along with this reel. Die cast aluminum reel foot, stamped aluminum reel stem, graphite body. So you have strength where it's needed, and the lightweight construction that allows you to throw this in the surf all day long. Dual force drag. Traditional drag in the top of the spool, extremely large disc drag underneath the skirt of the spool also. So you get that initial startup that's free and smooth, but the extreme power that you need to wrestle those big stripers out of the surf. They come in a, a 30 size reel all the way up to an 80 size reel. Retail, $99.99 on up to about $130. Great value, great product. Pick one up and uh, take a look at uh, what we have to offer. A lot of exciting things happening for your Northeast Striper fishermen here. The real eel. Look at that, that's 16 inches of Striper love right there. Comes in multiple different colors, multiple different sizes. We've got a 12 inch, a 16 inch, an eight inch, a 10 inch, unrigged versions, rigged versions, everything you need to hit that sand eel population uh, when you're going after that big striped bass. We've got the sand eels, great product last year. Colt following up in the, the Cape Cod Canal all the way down into the Carolinas. Available in multiple size ranges from a little four inch all the way up to an eight inch. Five ounces, get that bait down to the bottom really quickly, jig it through them, swim it through them. Murderous on big striped bass. Look for a lot more exciting products coming from Savage Gear USA. Well, my name is Doug Rush, I'm the Shimano sales rep for the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area. An exciting new product here in the Metallica line of reels. This is the new BFC model Metallica reel. This is specifically built for light line fishing, monofilament, 20 and 30 pound test, particularly for the white marlin sailfish market. It produces only a maximum of 15 pounds of drag, so it's a very specialized drag cam just for light line fishing. This reel moves 60 inches of line with a full spool of one turn of the handle. And we utilize six ARB bearings to support the spool and the drag system. So this is a very specialized reel made by Shimano for white marlin and sailfish. Jeff Pierce, the sales manager at Mustang Hook Company, I want to talk to you real quick about the Demon Perfect Circle Hook. Whether you fish for tunas in the canyon, stripers with live eels, cut pieces of bunker, Demon Perfect Circle is a hook you want to look at. If you're catching release guy, it's great because your fish are hooked in the, in the corner of the jaw and the lip, so they're in great shape for release. If you're a guy that likes to bring fish home, you don't lose fish on a circle hook. It's fantastic. You got kids, you got people that don't get to fish a lot. Circle hooks are great. No set in the hook. You let that fish eat. I'm live baiting with an eel for big stripers. Let that fish eat, start reeling. Drag starts going out, that fish is hooked right here. You get him to the boat, you get your pictures. He goes in the cooler, you let him go. 
That hook right there catches just about everything. Hi, I'm Ray Goki here from Owner Hooks to uh, talk about our new Zoe Wire treble hooks. These are our latest and greatest treble hook from Owner Hooks. What we've done is we've taken a new material um, called Zoe Wire. It is 30 to 40 percent lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. If you were to take a look at this treble hook, Comparatively speaking, it's almost as heavy as our SD66, but one-third thinner and as strong as our previous hooks. Um, it's going to be a great hook, um, spring or fall, whether you're striper fishing, um, using live baits, whether it be bunker or eels, um, for guys who like to use a treble hook, or if you're going to be replacing plugs, um, using a little lighter wire and a little lighter hook is going to allow a little more action for your swimming plugs. It's also going to be a great hook for guys that are looking to do some tuna fishing, sizing down plugs for smaller baits that are going to allow them to uh, use a lighter wire of more um, applicable size and catch larger fish. The uh, Castmaster XL. Um, many of you are already familiar with our Castmaster. A lot of guys use it for freshwater, saltwater fishing, whether you're doing ice fishing with our SW225 or casting off the beach with an SW121. Something we've come out with now is our XL. What we've done, we've taken our traditional Castmaster shape, thinned it out and elongated it to make a very unique small jigging and casting spoon designed to mimic the thin body baits that are prevalent um, in the Northeast. It's a great little lure, um, four different sizes, everything from about a three eighths of an ounce up to an ounce and a half. Um, we're using a VMC treble on the back. It's really a great lure. Um, when those sand deals are running or you're looking to do some uh, freshwater jigging when you have some smelts or silver sides available, it's going to be a great lure um, for any species you're going to target. I'm Ken Ehlers and I'm the rep for Lamaglass. Uh, What's new for 2013 from Lamaglass is a new series of rods for the surf called Infinity. And what they've done is use the new 3M nano material, which makes the blanks uh, about 25% lighter uh, because the nano material makes the blanks stronger, so therefore they can make them lighter. Uh, there's four two piece models, a nine foot. Uh, 10 foot medium spin, 10 foot medium heavy, and 11 foot medium heavy spin. And after the introduction, uh, most of the avid surf fishermen also asked for the same rods in uh, one piece. So we will have a 10 foot one piece and an 11 foot one piece. Hi, my name is Nick Sister. I'm the sales manager for Tsunami Products. Uh, these are some new rods that we developed this year. Uh, based on our airwave blanks. Uh, we set out to build a very general purpose inshore rods that were designed specifically to use around braided lines. We were looking for rods with a lot of sensitivity, reduced weight, that were built with the finest components that we could, we could find, and that were built specifically for braided line applications. So it's, it's our Airwave Elite Series. Here what we've, we've featured is the newest Fuji K-Frame Series guys. This is a conventional rod, this is a spinning rod right here. And the, the idea of these guys, with the slant the way they are, is that braided lines will not tag them. They're specifically designed for braided lines. They're strong, they're light, they're the alkanite material, which is Fuji's uh, premier grade of material. Uh, what's, what's interesting about all of these rods and what you'll find in each one of them is that you have fairly light cushiony tips, which is something that you do need with braided lines, but every one of the rods, very strong butt sections so, so that you can lift and move fish. Happy holidays from the fisherman.com.